topic is, after a surprising presidential campaign that was short on substance and long on personal attacks, conservatives openly embraced Dr. Ben Carson and his forthright statements about the evils of Washington and the dangers of a high $16.5 trillion debt. John, even, the, even magazines like The Atlantic are calling Carson the new conservative hero. Does he deserve that title? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I've, I've met Dr. Carson. He's an incredibly impressive uh, surgeon. I mean, we're, we're talking stellar, you know, uh, world-class surgeon. Um, what I don't think he has the capability of is, is really analyzing, you know, the, the social fabric. I mean, he's um, very um, high on himself, which is, uh, you know, everybody needs to be confident. But um, I think he's a, a little bit out of his league when he starts talking about these other issues. That's saying a word, that, though, Mark. The reason conservatives endorsed Carson's view was that he seemed to be more articulate than the past Republican candidates. Well, and I think his, the, the key point, though, is that his message resonated, and it reflects a fundamental divide between Paul Krugman, who says we ought to go deeper in debt, and other people who said we've gone far enough and it's time to stop. Um, and, and there is, this is a fault line issue within our society about personal responsibility and what, what's the best out, uh, approach for the economy. And, and I give him credit for touching that point. Mm -hmm.